So when you're looking at the text, a lot of people um, may say when they when they read the text, um, and granted it may be it come we have to kind of sort through it like with our cultural lens as well. They'll say that um, there's a conflict here between like um, this creation account and what maybe would be brought about by like evolutionary science, because um, you know there's like the de novo creation of Adam and Eve. Um, a lot of people would say with like the Genesis event, and there's a conflict here between this creation story um, and what evolutionary theory may say. So in your view, is there that conflict, or are we just maybe reading? Genesis in the wrong way? Is there something else going on here? Well, let's think about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, when we ask if there's a conflict, we're asking whether they make conflicting truth claims. And if you're going to find out if they're making con conflicting truth claims, you have to know what truth claims each one is making mm -hmm. and what they're making it about. Okay, so evolution's truth claims are pretty straightforward. It's truth claims about the mechanisms by which people have concluded that the world and people and everything else came to be. It's a discussion of mechanisms, of how things happened. Now, evolution is not and cannot be a discussion of agency. Who did this and why? That's not within their purview and they don't try to do it. It can't do it. Okay, so the truth claims evolution is making have to do with mechanisms. When you turn to the biblical account, you find that it's the opposite. The truth claims the Bible is making have to do with agency. Mm -hmm. God is the one who did it all the way through everything. And why? Why does God create? And the book then talks about his purposes, as I've mentioned, to dwell among people, be in relationship with them. So the Bible's truth claims don't, very specifically, don't have to do with mechanisms. Mm. They have to do with agency and purpose. Evolution's mm. truth claims have to do with mechanisms. They do not have to do with agency. Therefore, they are not making the same sorts of truth claims. Mm. They're not making competing truth claims about the same thing. Now, that doesn't make evolution right. It only says that if it is on target, as many people do think, it would not be incompatible with the Bible. Mm. Now, you mentioned de novo creation of Adam and Eve. Well, again, let's, let's be sure we know exactly what's being claimed. Um, are they... Uh, is the biblical text suggesting a de novo, biological, scientific, genetic, chemical kind of creation? That's science. Is the Bible dealing with science or implying science? I find it very interesting that most people don't know, and of course there's a good reason why they don't know, because our translations don't represent it, that in that phrase in Genesis 2-7, the Lord God created humanity, from the dust, there, there's your de novo statement. Mm -hmm. That preposition from is not there. Ask anybody who knows Hebrew, it's not there. It's the Lord God created humanity, and there's a break there in the text. Dust from the earth. There's from, from the earth. Dust is from the earth, not humanity from dust. Hmm. Now, uh, NIV, NRSV have from, many other translations have of, he created humans of the dust, okay, which is like, maybe saying something a little different, but that's not there either, okay, what the text says is the Lord God created humanity, break, dust of the earth, at that point, that is not chemistry or biology or science of any sort, that is identity, we know what that is, biblically, People are dust. Dust you are, to dust you shall return. You remember that we are just dust. People are dust. Old Testament, New Testament, Moses, David, Paul, who name, you name them. People are dust. That is identity. It's hmm. not mechanism. It's not chemical ingredients. It's identity. That means that in Genesis 2, we have an account of human identity. What we are not an account of scientific origins. And I would say it's the same thing in Genesis 1. We do, 
do not have an account of, of scientific origins of the cosmos. We have an account of cosmic identity. What is the cosmos? It has been ordered by God to serve as a home for people and a place where he intends to dwell with them and be in relationship with them. That's what the cosmos is. Thank you.